I welcome you all to Zibet Gis Blog, People of God. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching me from. Today's gist is about the conference happening at the Global Impact Church. Kindly stay tuned to their channel and watch it if you missed it. And I will be playing some short clip about it. There are powerful men of God that should showed in the event, ministered in the event, and you need to click to this program so that you will be blessed and God is going to touch you and answer your secret. Your hands, come on, let's go.
many excited, joyful, victorious people do we have in the house this morning? I think you need to look at your neighbor and check. There's an attitude of joy. The Bible says that with joy you will draw water out of the wells of salvation. So in case your neighbor is not smiling, please tell them to excuse you. Tell them to go to the back. In fact, the back cannot accommodate them. Make sure you are celebrating God's presence this morning. James chapter 2, 19 and 20 says, You believe that there is one God. You do well. Even the demons believe and tremble. But do you want to know, O oh foolish man, that faith without works is dead? So today is not about just believing. Today is not just about clapping in agreement or nodding in agreement. The Bible says that even the demons believe. But what, what is our focus? Lord, what must I do to be saved? In a minute, can we just lift our voices and tell him, Lord, I don't just want to come here and clap and agree and believe. I want to take instructions. There is an instruction, there's a word for me this morning. Can you lift your voices and tell him, open my eyes to see. Open my ears to hear. Nicodemus asked one question, what must I do? And Jesus told him what to do. Can we lift our voices this morning? I hope you're praying. Lord, what must I do for the second half? There's an instruction for me. There's a way to go. There's something I must see. There's something I must hear. Help me to hear. Help me to see. Open my eyes, oh God. I don't just want to live here with mental accent. I don't just want to live here clapping and applause. I want to live here with a definite instruction. Father, we give you praise this morning. Thank you, Lord, for open heavens. Your open heavens of revelation and wisdom and favor. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' precious name we prayed. I didn't hear your believing amen. Can we put our hands together for the Lord as we welcome the worship team, TPG. May I please be seated. 
Hallelujah. Can we just wave our hands to the heavens? We bless your name. We bless you, oh God. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. Yeah. My Tá bom. 
voices one more time. The Lord recognizes your voice in the crowd. You are so special to Him. He hears you. Oh, as long as it's amazing in your presence this morning.
Lift your hands. Lift your hands and worship. Yourself in my life, and I'm not to realize you're too faithful to fail me. Lift your voice. You're too faithful to fail me. Can you bless the name of the Lord where you are, wherever you are on the face of the earth? Give him honor, give him worship. There is no one like him, is the ancient of days. Is the ancient of days, his mercies are new every morning. Every morning, his mercies are new. Wherever you are, on site, online, in your homes, all over the world, whatever your time zone is, bless the ancient of days. Lift your voice and just tell him how much, how, how grateful you are. Worship him. There is no one like him. La da 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 sata la da hakarados te keleba havado re baredes telede hakarabos te re kalaba mada da 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 kosa talaba da garaga kalaba da bara bara kasi talaba reda ste kalaba veno nobuste heraba basote reda baba ko hafade bless him bless him profusely. Bless him lavishly. Rada kata nanama ha pretika. You are the only God. You are the only God. Rika, rika, rika. The only God. Yes, 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 yes. The only God. The only God. The only God. chairperson of this service welcome here it is your place it is your place we yield every part to you you are there you are here thank you Holy Spirit precious friend stand by strengthen the great spirit fire and peace Holy Spirit we love you. We honor you. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Are you glad to be here this morning? Please put your hands louder for Jesus this morning. Amen. Uh, just before you get seated, uh, God is doing a quick walk today. We don't have all the time. And um, two years ago, we had a recharge conference at one of our great uh, speakers, uh, Joshua, Apostle Joshua Selman. Um, I remember we, we had an awesome time, and after the uh, a session, at the end of the service, <laughs> we, we came, praise the Lord, we came to this facility then, it was just very rough uh, foundation, and remember we prayed together. It just dawned on me when uh, just 
some days ago, I said, wow, we came over the other side now. We are worshipping uh, in this dome. So, um, I don't know if we'll have the video introduction. Let's have the video introduction of Joshua Selman. Uh, will give us a word of charge. And then after that, the voice you will hear next is Apostle Joshua Selman. Apostle Joshua Selman Miller, an anointed minister of the gospel with a strong apostolic unction. He is the founder of Eternity Network International, ENI an apostolic ministry with a mandate to replicate the fullness of God's life on the earth. His ministry has grown in leaps and bounds, reaching thousands across the globe. His deep insight into God's word comes from a place of revelation, having encountered Jesus and the Apostle Paul at different times in the course of his ministry. He is the host of Koinonia, a weekly apostolic, prophetic and evangelistic meeting that hosts passionate believers from all over Zaria and other parts of Nigeria. Global Impact Family, please let's make welcome Apostle Joshua Selman to Recharge Conference 2021. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. While standing, I'd like us to very quickly appreciate and honor the angel over this house, Pastor Yemi Davids and his lovely wife. Celebrate them. Please do well to also celebrate every man every woman of god in this place i honor you sincerely thank you hallelujah i have a few minutes this morning to just charge our hearts um, and it truly is an honor to be here amazed to see what god can do creator of the universe what can't you do what can't you do jesus you're the name above every other name what can't you change what can't you change jesus you are able, great and mighty God. You are able, Jesus. Hallelujah. Help us this morning, Father. And I pray in the name of Jesus that your word will come to build, to lift, to bless. In Jesus' name. Jeremiah 30 and verse 19. Please be seated. Pastor Yemi Davids, thank you again. I truly love you and I'm honored to be here. Thank you, sir. Jeremiah 30 and verse 19. Just a quick charge to bless our hearts. Jeremiah chapter 30 and then verse 19. It says, And out of them shall proceed thanksgiving. And the voice of those that make merry. Is someone saying amen? amen. I will multiply them. Amen. King James, please, KJV. It says, and they shall not be few. I will glorify them, it says. And they shall not be small. Hallelujah. Multiplication is part of God's commission as far as the dominion mandate is concerned, in, in the details of the dominion mandate as we have in Genesis 1 and verse 28. Genesis 1 verse 28, the Bible says, and God blessed them and mandated us to have dominion. And he described the entire scope of man's reach and then the character and the nature of that dominion. Here's what he says. God blessed them and said unto them, Be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth, subdue it, have dominion over the fish of the sea, the fowl of the air, 
every living thing that moved upon the earth so multiplication is part of the mandate the mandate for dominion requires that everything god gives you multiplies are we together it is consistent with god's character that every time he gives to man whatever it is that he gives to man comes in the form of a seed you will seldom have god give people harvest as the first instance of his giving he would give a seed alongside the grace and the wisdom for multiplication you have to understand this it is a seed and then the grace and the wisdom for multiplication now every time god blesses men with seeds can come as wisdom graces creativity it doesn't matter what expression seed just means the beginning and the foundation are we together the life-giving factor of anything is a seed now he does not expect that seed to remain at that level in Gen in matthew chapter 25 for the sake of time remember he speaks about the parable of the talents that he gave unto one five he gave unto one two talents he gave unto one one and then the bible says the one with five went and traded it and then he brought back ten talents five more the one with two traded it brought back two talents more and then the one who had a single talent you can see that the giver was just in his allocation because the end of the story shows his wisdom the one with the one talent full of offense and full of laziness and complacency when stewardship was demanded of them here's what he says i know you are a hard man you like to reap where you do not sow and so i buried your talent and here's your one talent and give to you and the owner of the talent called him a wicked number one and number two unprofitable servant something is wrong every time god blesses us and we remain at that level and we do not multiply what he's given us if he gives us seed as wisdom as grace as power he expects that we multiply it is god blessing someone that means nothing should remain at the same level in your hands and whatever makes things to remain at the same level in the name of jesus we command it to live your life now I should not come and find you at the same level at any point in your life the bible says it this way the path of the just is as a shining light are we bible students that shines ever brighter onto the perfect day you should never be found at the same level spiritually intellectually financially in your influence your capacity to understand it should never be at the same level the grace and the instinct for multiplication to multiply means to increase exponentially to increase exponentially greater levels of the same results are we blessed scripture is full of god's promises as far as multiplication is concerned let's run through a few of them genesis 22 and verse 17 the lord there was speaking to abraham genesis 22 17 speaking to abraham about multiplication genesis 22 and verse 17 we we'll just walk very quickly because of time you can just write it down and then genesis 26 genesis 22 17 genesis 26 and verse 4 this is god speaking to isaac now about multiplication in genesis 28 and verse 3 isaac is speaking to jacob and in the blessing multiplication is captured i'm just showing you instances in scripture from abraham to isaac to jacob in genesis 35 and verse 11 apologize i'm rushing just to maximize time genesis 35 and verse 11 also an expression of the blessing and lastly genesis 48 
and verse 4 among many other scriptures 22 17 genesis 26 verse 4 28 verse 3 35 verse 11 48 verse 4 all of these scriptures in communicating the blessing have in them the dimension of multiplication that means if the blessing is truly upon you among the many things it should produce is multiplication exponential increase at every level if you're with me say amen, amen. now but my my charge this morning is not really over the subject of multiplication but then a word of caution in genesis 18 Deuteronomy 18, I meant to say, there seems to be, as revealed from that scripture, a weakness. Please pay attention. There seems to be a weakness and a limitation in all men. When we experience increase, when we experience abundance, when we experience notable achievements, ease, breakthroughs, etc. That every time men seem to advance notably in their lives there is a weakness that that state of prosperity